Hi, I'm James Manning and welcome once again to Be Young RV. Today we're going to talk about the new 3990-2014 voltage. The voltage that we have on display is in the graphite color with a splash of neon green throughout. You'll notice it is the Epic package with the frameless windows. Not only they are much better looking, but a lot less maintenance to, to have on the unit. In the front area of the voltage, you'll find that you have a huge storage area that you can access from both sides. Goes in through here, comes out on the other side, but right in here, something to point out is a battery disconnect switch. So in between your trips while storing it, you can reach up and turn the batteries off. It isolates the battery so there's no drain on them. You can come out next month for the next trip, come out, hit the switch, turn it on, and your power is ready to go. Then right next to the big storage area, you do have an electrical outlet under the main awning. Now the Epic packages do come with two power awnings that cover both front and back of the unit. As you enter the oversized doorway area, you notice it's a 30 inch door with four steps. So a lot easier to enter, especially when the ground slopes away. Now on the outside passenger slide, it is equipped with an outside entertainment center. Okay, inside you have a 30 inch TV with two outside marine style speakers. Now these are protected from the elements if they do get wet. Okay, and underneath you'll notice that it has three axles. They're each 7,000 pound rated Dexter axles. The wheels are alloy rims for a reason. They're slotted in to pull air in to cool the oversized brakes, but they're also um, designed to dissipate heat. The steel rims collect heat and it deteriorates the sidewall of the tire much faster. Right next to the entertainment center, you do have controls out here. You can operate your stereo, AM, FM switches right here, as well as select channels. In the back area, you do have entrance to the garage. And you can notice here at the back how big that second awning is. And at the back, as you can see, it's a little tight in here today is where the new product is coming in. It does have a rear box awning on the back. It's a manual awning that cranks out that will cover the deck area. Now the the back tailgate is a dual purpose. Not only is it a ramp, but it has cable suspension, makes it into a nice platform deck with rails that go up on the outside. Up above high, you'll notice that it does have a backup camera with a wireless monitor that attaches inside your truck. You notice for nighttime hookup area, you have two oversized entry lights for loading at night. And the first thing you notice when you come around the corner is the ladder. Ladder is easy to get to, very solidly mounted, and the, and the ladder tells you a couple things. One, that it is built strong enough to support a ladder, and two, that it's okay to be on the roof. It's a full walk-on roof, plenty of support from end to end. Right down here at the pump station, you'll notice you have two fuel tanks. You'll have one designated just for the generator, 30 gallons, and another one designated just for the fuel station, also 30 gallons. And inside here, are the pumping controls to operate. And over here is your on off switch for the pump itself with an actual fuel gauge for the pump station. And as you come around to the front area, you'll notice the size of the water heater compartment door. It's a little larger. It is a 10 gallon water heater operated by gas or electricity or simultaneously for quick recovery. They did a good job of tapping the furnace and the water heater together. They're both propane lines. You don't have them strung all over. And they're a little noisy at ignition, so it's kind of nice to have them separate out of the way of the living room. Over here is the back side of the storage, but it also gives you the universal docking center. Inside the universal docking center, you have your uh, knife valves for your black and gray tanks. They're up above the subfloor, so when your heat is on, they're heated. As well as your holding tanks, you have heat from the furnace that's radiated down to there. And you also are equipped with 12-volt heater pads equipped to all three of the tanks. The nice plus about that is if you are traveling over a cold pass and you're not running your furnace, you can turn on the 12-volt pads and keep the tanks from freezing while you're passing over the high elevations. Over here is your fresh water fill. Very important since you do have 160 gallon capacity on the voltage. Cable hookup, everything's done right in one area. You can take and run all of your hoses and cords right through the bottom, giving you the ability to close the compartment door.
And right against the wall of the storage area inside of the controls for the automatic electronic leveling system. Now these are six point jacks that cover all through the frame on both sides. They will level themselves automatically and the nice plus about this when you hit retract it has a memory. It'll go back to the height that it came off of your truck making it easy to hook up when you're ready to leave. In the front of the unit it's equipped with a 5500 watt generator that is a 50 amp service. Now a 50 amp service is very important on this particular unit because you have not one, two, but three roof air conditioners and this will give you plenty of power with a 50 amp service to run all three. Come on inside and I'll show you the interior of the new floor plan. And as soon as you walk in, the first thing you notice is that they've done it a little different for the controls for the slide and the lights and the awning. They're using a universal control. You can operate the outside light, the awnings, in and out buttons, switch it back over. You can run the main slide, galley slide, all operated from one area with a touch screen making it a lot easier than running back and forth and open compartments to push buttons. I really like that feature. Over here you have the power control system. With this one, since you do have a uh, three air conditioner system, this helps manage the power so you don't overload a circuit and cause a breaker to be flipped. Over here, since you are in a fifth wheel of tall ceilings, your controls for the max air fans are right here. You can raise the lid, turn the fan on as intake or an exhaust fan. Up here are the main control centers. You walk in, you can turn on all the lights to the interior of the living area right here in one spot. The controls for the generator are also here. The heating pads for the holding tanks are also here. Water pump switch, gas and electric water heater switches are there as well. All the lights for the exterior area, security light on entry side and driver side easy to get to and right to your left when you walk in you notice the oversized 14 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator freezer giving you plenty of storage for long-term stays The island gives you plenty of room for countertop to work with, oversized stainless steel sink with a spray faucet, brushed nickel hardware, granite countertops, residential style granite countertops, easy to work with, they're non-porous, that don't absorb bacteria, easy to wipe up and clean and be ready to use for the next meal. Right to the end of the counter area, you notice you have the spice rack and additional storage here, as well as an easy to get to pantry on the side. Also equipped with stainless steel microwave convection oven and stainless steel burners and oven. Down below you have a pots and pan drawer underneath the stove, but a really big one underneath the refrigerator. The island is great for additional storage and they do a good job of it. Over here you have a real big storage area here, plenty of room to put a waste basket. As well as more storage you can access from both sides in the front. Then right to your left are three oversized drawers with full extension metal guides making it easy to get the things even at the back of the drawer. Right across from the galley is the seating arrangement. Nice theater setup with the 42 inch TV. It's on a swing bracket, comes out, position at the right angle for everybody to view. And on the ends, they've got cup holders in every one, but on the ends are the, obviously the special chairs. You can touch them to turn on the lights for the cup holders and the lights underneath the seating area. And it's also a heated cup holder. Just touch it, turn on the heat, set your coffee in there and it'll stay warm while you're watching your show. All these seats are recliners. So when you are coming back at the end of a day of a hard ride, pull the lever on the recliner, kick back, swing the TV out, and maybe watch some of the helmet cam videos of the day. And if you don't want to watch TV, you want to watch the fire, there it is. It's also a 5100 
BTU electric heater, which would be a nice way to save propane and heat the living area. And on your way back to the garage, you'll notice up above is an additional sleeping area. It does give you an overhead loft. Access to the 14-foot garage is through glass patio doors that also does have a screen. As you come in, you'll notice that it's all 14 foot of usable garage space. The half bath is incorporated back behind the pantry area of the kitchen, leaving it a flat floor area up in the front for loading. Now in the back, you'll notice you do have the additional dining setup. You have seats plenty big enough for three full-size adults with an oversized table with the back tailgate dropping down as a patio deck is a nice place to spend the evening having dinner. Now it's also set up for the person to stay back here. You have an additional bed up above. The, the table and chairs also makes into a bed. It is equipped with a television in this room. It's right up above so you can wash it in the overhead bed or down below. And it's equipped with a nice stereo setup. And you can play the tuner. You can play the songs off your iPod or even the Bluetooth off of your telephone. Easy to operate, just a push of a button. And like I was mentioning earlier, this one is equipped with a third air conditioner, so you have a separate air conditioner just for the garage room. You also have a fantastic fan up above, and it's equipped with a rain sensor. If it does start to rain, it will close the lid automatically. You don't have to mess with it in the middle of the night. One thing you notice as you're walking back to the bathroom bedroom area, it is a side aisle pushed off to the side, gives you the nice viewing windows in the hallway, but it also pushes the wall of the bathroom over, making for a large bathroom. Now this is something you probably won't see very often when you come into a bathroom. You notice that you have plenty of counter space, it also is granite. You have a vessel style sink with a high rise faucet and also equipped with a step down bathtub. The guy that's been too tall in the past will now fit inside the shower and the tub area. And you walk through the bathroom into the bedroom and you notice you've got a beautiful elegant bed, king size, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, nice stands on both sides. At the foot of the bed a beautiful dresser with six drawers built right in, plenty of vanity countertop, and up above you also have your bedroom television set up. Now in the closet area, they've done a beautiful design. You'll notice how they've used the front part of the cap instead of walling it off. You have two oversized shelves for shoes, an additional shelf down below, plenty of room to walk in with a full-size closet rod. Now you have room to lay your, your shirts in without having to turn them sideways on the closet rod. And if you are going for extended stays, they have plumbed it for a washer and dryer. And if you're not using the washer and dryer, what an excellent storage area. As you come down out of the, the bedroom area, you step down off of carpet onto linoleum, which is nice for an entrance area, but you've got to be able to clean it and maintain it. Underneath, for the linoleum area, you can sweep it up. You have a, a vacuum dustpan right there. And for the carpet area, you can lift up the connection here, put on your hose, and vacuum the rest of the carpet area upstairs. So not only can you have fun, but you can take care of it while you're out. Well, this is just one of the many coaches we have here. This is a new floor plan, the 3990 by Voltage. We have toy haulers, trailers, fifth wheels, motor homes, new and used. Well, my name is James Manning. I'd like to thank you once again for coming to see us here at B. Young. And remember, if you come see us today, you could be camping tomorrow. Goodbye now.